many people ask us what's LTA and what's the difference between LTA and LTE plus. The first is a very easy answer. They're the same. This is just terminology used by some carriers in some countries. So LTA, LTE plus, same. There's not a strict definition of LTA, but typically LTA is close to 5G. So people also call it 4.9G as an example. But what it really promises much higher data speeds. Um, talk is around about gigabits per second. I don't quite believe it, but uh, that's what it's going towards. How does it do it? Firstly, it uses much more MIMO. It uses up to 8x8 MIMO. So in other words, typically the MIMO 8x8, the 8 antennas is used on a base station. The user terminal, user equipment, is typically up to 4x4. If you've got the right category. So it's referring to um, LTE release 10 and you've got user equipment category 6 to 8. So user equipment must be able to support it. In terms of our antennas, this will, in other words, currently we only do in a single antenna 2x2. Two two. One could put two antennas up in order to achieve your full performance there. That gives you a four times speed increase on one antenna, of course, as we said before. Second one is the most important one. If it's carrier ag aggregation, and I'm just going to abbreviate it because it's a long word and I'm not too sure how to spell it. So carry aggregation means that I'm going to illustrate it just in terms of 1700 band up to about 2 gigs. There's the lower bands that we used to use and then they say 2.3 up to 2.4. Now many times um, we started off and an operator would have a chunk of this band. You may also have a chunk a little bit higher and you're now allowed to join these two chunks to give you a bigger bandwidth, this is frequency, and hence higher data rates, because you buy these frequencies. What you can now do with the least 10, you can also take a band there, and you can take all three of these, combine them together, and that one there may be, say, 40, 20, 20, and get 80 megahertz. And megahertz translates directly into higher um, data rates. So this is a phenomenal thing. It allows one operator to use whatever frequencies he's got, but for us it's the best because we make antennas that of course cover all of the cellular bands and that used to be very convenient because you did not have to know what your carrier uses but now you have to use them because at the same time you're going to be required to pick up all of those otherwise you really will have problems in terms of getting the major benefit that's associated with LTE A, LTE Plus and later 5G. So in many cases this type of band for example the Xpulse 6 well, Xbox 6 would cover all of these. If they're also using 900 Xbox 2, sorry, that will be Xbox 0006. But all of the omnis that we do and all of the internal antennas, our focus has always been and our strength has been making antennas operate well at all of the frequency bands. And that's going to become crucial, whereas it used to be um, mainly a convenience and often you could get away with a cheap antenna if it just happens to work well at some band which your operator is using.